Hello everyone and welcome back to the 17 part tutorial of how to model the island. We're going to continue just a little bit with our chair and I will dedicate this uh, part just to make some, uh, you know, things uh, with what we already have. So basically I I'm going to wreck some of the uh, fe features like, I don't know, those surfaces here and this chair. Now I want to place this chair as well uh, at first, so I'm gonna first combine it, and I'm gonna go over modify, turn to the pivot for it, of course. Switch to move tool. I'm gonna put it aside here, and let's bring the island, and let's fit this. Now I know that the barrels are not quite in a, you know, uh, proportions. They're they're a little bit too little, so I'm gonna change here the scale, and I'm gonna put this chair, uh, I don't know, somewhere here, as like so. Okay, like that, and maybe like that. I don't know, maybe one someone will want to sit there. So I'm going to take this chair now, and because uh, it's, uh, I don't want to use it as a good chair, I'm going to do separate here, and I'm going to make a copy here. So I'm going to copy this, Control D to duplicate this. If, it, if the parts are not following as uh, together, so make sure you ungroup them or combine them again. And let's delete this here and take these parts now and combine them back and modify center pivot for it. I'll just simply throw it in this junk area so we will have some more features here. Okay, let's try and uh, find how this can lay down here in a proper way but I mean like not getting into this uh, where it's floating in some parts you see so right now like the back is on top of this uh, surface here but I can hold down D and align it with this okay so only D and click here it will align it and then you can use the rotation tool and just rotate it so it will touch the surface that way or you can snap that that depends uh, again I'm gonna take this thing here and I'm gonna get rid of both of the surfaces or maybe just this one for now and I'm gonna do the same here so I'm gonna copy this first Control D duplicate and then grab these and mesh combine modify center pivot and just like so I'm gonna stick it here hold down D pressed you will see a line so just left click here and then release the D and try and lay this correctly see that way we can add just more variety of wrecked things here so I'm gonna mesh combine this well modify center the pivot By the way, I'm sure you would like to do this <coughs> again, I, I said it on one of the earlier parts, that you may want to do this after you texture, you know, you don't have to do this right away, but I don't know what's going on with you, if you would go and texture this uh, at the end, so probably you would like to really wait for texturing it, and if not, go ahead and just uh, do that okay so I'm gonna 
get rid of these two. I'm gonna scale this up a little bit. Bring it back to here. Maybe a little bit more. And you can move it to the back of this. Control D to duplicate this. And then Control D to duplicate it once more. Okay. Like so. And you can take these, one of those surfaces. I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna take this one and control D to duplicate this. And you can come and like separate this one. Mesh, separate. You can take this uh, middle one or I don't know, just any one of them and delete it. And now here, another one missing. And you can take this one, right click, choose edge, click this edge, control right click, edge ring it is to edge ring and split. Press F8 to bring it back to object mode, right click, choose face, get rid of the entire half. So select all the faces and delete them. And then you can go over edge and, sorry, vertices. I'm gonna pull this. Now I can't really use the... Um, you know, the orientation of the move tool correctly, but I'm gonna try and, let's see, no, it's not really helping, but anyway, right click, choose edge, double click on this edge, mesh, fill hole, and you can do something such as right click, choose edge, uh, you know what, no, shift right click, insert edge loops, I'm gonna add like three edges on top of that edge then I will be able to grab these two move them a little bit like so bring these two forward you got the idea right so then control D to duplicate this one don't forget to center the pivot for it and move it over here maybe rotate this so I'm gonna rotate that way and move it to the other side like so and maybe shorten it or make it larger I don't know oh sorry let's say like that maybe it's sticks a little bit out like so press F8 bring it back to object mode you can play with it a lot it's really up to you you can grab uh, these control right click edge ring the this edge ring and split and then you don't need to get rid of the entire thing like you can do some cracks here like let's say I'm gonna bevel this okay so I have one crack here and then this one. So I'm gonna move this one a little bit closer with sliding, like so. And then I'm gonna get rid of these faces here, delete them. I'm gonna shut this hole. Mesh, fill hole. You can double click on this edge and press G because fill hole was the last function and then Press F8, bring it from back to object mode, insert edge loop. It's already set to free, so I can use this and simply pull these a little bit out together maybe with these. It will be smart and I will grab these and do this the opposite way and these here. So you got the idea, right? Just select these and even get rid of one more maybe at the, f the beginning now with that you can go and take this uh, whole thing unselect this make sure that you go over mesh combine them back modify center the pivot hopefully nothing else has been selected and you can just throw it there together with these now, because this, this is a junkyard, I'm gonna take the good one and get rid of this. I'm gonna put this one here. 
instead. Like so. Yeah, I know it will be hard for me to set this correctly because, you know, just messed up <laughs> with this. Yeah, I needed a little bit more tweaking here. Let's try align this. Like so. I'm gonna switch to move tool, control D to duplicate this one. I'm gonna move it towards here. Oopsie. So these are touching the ground, so I can simply go press D and align this with that and then rotate that axis so this will touch the ground. And if this one is not touching the ground, so you can do that as well by aligning it with this and, you know, play with it a little bit. So it deserves some time, of course, but at the end you will have much nice and you know seen with a lot of variety of things here makes it look a little bit more convincing control d i'm gonna move this one like so <coughs> let's change the pivot to here then I'm going to place it here, see on the ground here, and then switch to rotation, and maybe move it a little bit like so, to towards the other surface, and then lay it down on that surface. And if you really want you can separate this one and just get rid of something here just to make sure it's randomizing in a way it's not like the same as this one so let's go and combine this back now so you see uh, it's very easy to make this variety of stuff the objects that uh, looks different and wrecked just a little bit more interesting for the eye. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna right click choose face, I'm gonna get rid of the top and <coughs> well I don't have anything else beside that it was pretty one-sided um, you know thing here so what I will do is I'm gonna extrude this as it is and extrude it out so it will have some thickness so now we have this and you know what yeah I know what's the problem I think but maybe I should have extruded a little bit more let's grab this extrude press F8 I'm not sure what's going on down there probably something that's related here well I can grow selection here these which will be faster and easier for me and then switch to scale tool and bring this a little bit inside so you won't be able to see that peeking outside Okay, no one really will see what's going on there. And frankly, this is not the main reason I'm doing this. You can either make this sort of a garbage, uh, you know, uh, barrel, or you can go and take these, put it, I don't know, let's say here. 
Don't forget that we have rocks, so every time you play something, you're probably gonna end up uh, clipping with the rocks there, so just be careful with that. I know for sure that i done this already, <laughs> because there were uh, rocks there, <laughs> and I put, put those uh, two chairs, wrecked chairs there, and I'm gonna take few bytes of these so let's take this control D and duplicate this modify center to pivot so I can drag it away and then mesh separate this I'm gonna grab this one control D by the way center pivot for each one of them if needed and I'm gonna put them inside here so it will be like garbage or, I don't know, fire uh, sort of barrel. You know where people use it in movies as like to warm up homelesses and basically poor people who doesn't have house. Modify center pivot. Let's bring this piece over here. But you pro if if the purpose is to make this as a fireplace, so at least make sure that it's a little bit more higher, and just open the top, just delete the top faces, create some edge loop there. That will help you get that. Okay, I'm gonna duplicate this one and move it and. Rotate this <coughs> like so. Of course, if you want to make this perfect, spend more time with it. Okay. Control D, duplicate this, rotate this. Move it like so, maybe rotate this that way. Then you can go and change this a little bit so it really won't look the same for all of them. Like so. Okay. You can keep this here if you like. I'm gonna mesh, combine this one, and modify center the pivot. Okay, so you got the idea, right? Nothing else to say about this. You can do this with whatever object you have. Just feel free by really doing that. Uh, what's going on here with this? I think I got a little bit too much pieces out of it or just didn't assemble everything. Well, let's assume that this one is okay. It's wrecked, so we don't need it. Oh, maybe I need this cube. I will throw this cube inside. Or you can duplicate this cube a little bit more and throw it nearby this junk. Okay, so yeah, that's it for this part. Don't forget to save, file save scene as. I'm gonna call this 19, for you it's 17, I guess. That's it, thank you for watching, have a good day, play with it, do some more randomized things. You can do this also for this uh, thing here, but no, don't touch it, but you can do, of course. And I shall see you at the next part. Don't forget that, well, at least for me, I need to scale them up a little bit and move them. But anyway, I'm going to keep them as they are. Okay, so thank you for watching. Have a good day, and I will see you at the next part. Bye-bye.